people often comment that once they've fitted the regulator they would very much like to know how many bar of air pressure they use per so many shots i.e. 20 bar for 20 shots etc. People say that this is now not possible because once you've fitted the regulator the small gauge like this which is often fitted to the action of your gun will only read the pressure which the regulator is putting out. So typically on an air arms at 12 foot pounds in the United Kingdom you'd have your regulator set as 100 bar and because of where the gauge is on the action of the gun once the regulator is fitted the regulator uh, pressure will appear on the gauge so the gauge will only ever say 100 bar. Uh, there is a way to do a recording whilst you're doing your graphs with your chronoscope and this is quite simple you just leave your scuba tank and hose and gauge or your pump and gauge assembly attached to the gun. Uh, so all you'd normally do is if you're going to fill up the gun make sure that the bleed is shut open the valve to the scuba bottle and fill the gun to whatever pressure you require I think my bottle's only got about 140 bar left in it so that's all I can put in then make sure that the scuba tank is switched off and now the pressure on the gauge is the pressure which is in the air reservoir so subsequently every time you fire the gun the, although there's only 100 bar going to come up the barrel through the regulator the pressure on the gauge and the pressure in the cylinder is gradually going to fall uh, on this particular rifle I know that I'm getting about 110 shots over 100 bar so if I fill my gun to 200 bar and the regulator set at about 95 bar I'm getting about roughly one shot per bar so to demonstrate this if I now fire 20 shots you should hopefully see the gauge drop by about 20 bar there. This can be very useful if you're trying to work out whether your gun has got valve and hammer bounce which will mean that your gun is actually going bang 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 very quickly each time you fire it even though it just sounds like one bang. Uh, when this happens you may calculate that you're supposed to be getting say 60 shots from your rifle but you may only be getting 30 or you might calculate that you should be getting 150 shots from your rifle but you're only getting 100. Uh, if you work out how many bar of air you should be using per shot and then count the number of shots and watch the needle fall and keep a record of this this will give you some idea of if the gun is actually firing two or three times but you're only actually hearing one bang. Uh, to overcome this you would normally increase the outlet valve spring pressure and then subsequently increase the hammer spring pressure as well and then if you continue to keep a record of how many bar of air you use per shot by adjusting the spring tensions you will then be able to get the best out of your rifle.